Hey guys, Clash of Clans is one of the most famous game all around the world. There are over 29 million active users of this game. In 2012 Supercell launched Clash of Clans. It is a strategy game in which you have to build your own kingdom in which you are the chief of the village. Clash of Clans has a different type of magical world in which there are different types of creatures like giants, witches, goblins etc. It gives us a whole new experience and we think that we are the part of that magical world. Through this game, you can also connect to the people worldwide and add them to your clan. So here are 15 amazing facts about Clash of Clans. 1. 5 million dollars a day. Supercell has a very huge user base. There are so many players around the world who plays the game daily. Most of the players start it because of the curiosity that why everyone is playing this game but later they get addicted to this game and some of them also use real money on it, which helps Supercell to get so much profit. In February 2015 Supercell was earning $5 million a day. 2. Value of Supercell $5.5 billion. This game was launched by Supercell after Heyday and then it slowly spread all over the world. Everyone was playing this game and the user base of this game of increasing drastically. Which was increasing the value of Supercell. After the investment of SoftBank on Supercell, the value of Clash of Clans with other mobile games of Supercell became $5.5 billion. 3. Six iPads at the same time. Clash of Clans is a strategy game. A person can play it using multiple devices for a better experience. Some players use multiple accounts of Gmail to play the game and build them separately. One of the top players of Clash of Clans, George Yao, spent about six months in playing Clash of Clans on his five iPads at the same time. He said that he used to take his iPads to his shower to play Clash of Clans. 4. $7,000 per month on the village. Clash of Clans also has in-app purchases which is the source of income for Supercell. In this, the player can buy the gems by giving real money to Supercell. So many players around the world buy gems for real money. One of the top players, Panda, spends about $7,000 per month on Clash of Clans. Though $7,000 was only 7% of his income. 5. 50% revenue from 10% players. Like any other game, Clash of Clans also has its top players. There is a list of rankings in the game which shows the top players all around the world or for a particular country. Clash of Clans earns nearly the 50% of the revenue by the top 10% of the players. That is the reason that this game is free for everyone in the world. 6. About 29 million active users. As we before said this game has a very huge user base. This game is available in so many countries with so many different types of languages, so it is obvious that this game has so many users around the world. There are about 29 million active users of this game. Which brings them millions of dollars. 7. Only 15 people work on Clash of Clans. Supercell has launched four mobile games which are, Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, Boom Beach and Heyday to handle these four games Supercell has employed 150 people but only 15 people are working on Clash of Clans per VentureBeat. 8. Five Tiers of Troops. This game comes with five tiers of troops which are designed for a player from beginner to a pro. The first three tiers are of elixir troops the other tiers of dark elixir troops and after that, the heroes are introduced. The first tiers have the army like a giant army with archers, in the second tier the level is increased and dragons attacks are used, in the third tier, pekka and golem are introduced. After that, the dark elixir troops are unlocked and at the end heroes are introduced. 9. Sleeping Builder. This game is all about upgrading your village to a higher level. To upgrade your village you need a builder. You can use a maximum of 5 builders in this game but the funny part is that if the builder is not building something in your village, the builder hut will show Z's that means builder is sleeping and enjoying his holiday. 10. P.E.K.K.A. came from Facebook. Every clasher knows who P.E.K.K.A. is. P.E.K.K.A. is a mighty troop which can destroy a building with a single shot. But do you know where the name P.E.K.K.A. came from? In 2012 Supercell started a contest on Facebook for the best name for the acronym P.E.K.K.A. and the winner of the contest was Perfect Enraged Knight of Assassins.
11. Hidden Tesla double damage the PEKKA. We have talked about so many troops but what about defensive buildings? So here comes the hidden Tesla. A hidden Tesla which is a defensive building which is hidden from the attackers until the troops come near enough to it and then it pops out of the ground and gives electric shocks to the enemies. Hidden Tesla can do the double damage to the PEKKA because of the conductivity of the armor of the troop. 12. There is no unofficial wall. Most of the strategy games like Clash of Clans have a system in which player puts his buildings in the corner of the map and he gets an unofficial wall which means that no one can attack him from that side because the attackers can't deploy troops there but in Clash of Clans placing your buildings at the corner of the map will not give you an unofficial wall protection. Troops can be deployed there and can attack you from there, so better watch out. 13. Heroes are the most valuable tools. Heroes are the most important and valuable in Clash of Clans. When you are attacking wait for your hero to regain its stamina. The heroes can make a big difference in the result of a battle. When you are away you can put them on guard mode or sleep mode. 14. Level of Town Hall Matters. The most important building in Clash of Clans is a Town Hall. The player has to protect the Town Hall because if the enemy destroys your Town Hall he will win the battle. You have to pay attention to the town hall level of the opponent you want to attack. If you attack a town hall of your level you can get 100% on that base. Attacking higher town hall can get you more rewards. 15. Heroes never die. The heroes in Clash of Clans are immortal which means they cannot die. They are the most powerful troops in Clash of Clans. Instead of dying the heroes like King Queen and Grand Warden get injured and take time to regenerate their health. Article Source